So this is a setup to measure the spring constant by static and dynamic method. So you can see the arrangement. There is a stand, RD stand, through which one spring is attached from the one of the top of the end, and the second end is a free where we can attach a pan. In the pan, we can put these kind of masses. The masses are, you know, each mass is of 50 gram, and we can attach these masses into the spring like this. You can see properly on the, you know, pan of this setup. Okay, so let me explain step by step. So first we will attach this pan through the one end of the spring and we will note down the reading of uh, spring length by using this uh, you know uh, needle uh, right now the you can find out the reading is near about 7, uh, 6, 6 centimeter about okay and first we have to put into the very very uh, gently in the static state and when it comes into the equilibrium note down the reading it is near about 6 cm so this can be treated as an initial reading or you can say the reference reading and now I am going to attach a mass of the 50 gram and when I put it into the pan so I am going to consider it first time this is the 50 gram now let it become into the equilibrium state very gently okay right now uh, i can take the reading it is approximate 9.9 uh, .9 centimeter since the least count of the meter scale is you know uh, 0.1 centimeter so the reading is 9.9 .9 centimeter when you attach the mass of the 50 gram now again another 50 gram of mass i am going to attach in this spring i will put it very gently and leave it Alright, so this time let it be come into the equilibrium state, it should not be vibrate. Okay, so if I read, the reading is near about 13 point, uh, 13.3 centimeter, 13.3 centimeter about. Alright, now again I am going to next 50 grams, so the total weight will be 150 grams over here through the groove I simply place this mass and put it very gently All right. so the reading is 16.5 you can see the 16.5 uh, 16 centimeter when the mass is 150 gram now next mass I am going to attach now the mass become 200 grams and very gently for us to adjust quickly. Okay, fine. So the reading is about 20 centimeter. 20 centimeter when the total mass is 200 grams. Now again another mass I'm going to place. come into the equilibrium the reading is a 23.5 23.5 centimeter 23.5 centimeter now there is a total 5 disc means the total weight is a 250 grams another 50 grams I am going to place very gently and let it become into the equilibrium state Okay, so right now its value is about 26.8, 26.8 centimeter. This is how we will perform the experiment in the static mode. And again I am going to take it out the masses one by one. Again we will repeat the same uh, readings. Like of course in the last stage the reading is of course this is a 26.7. 826.8 about okay and now I will take out right now the masses are 250 grams let me note down the reading that is a 23.12345 23.5 uh, 
23.4 okay again i will take it out another uh, disc the mass become 200 grams let me note down the value of the scale that is a, about 20.1 20 20.1 20 centimeter now again take it out now the the masses are you know 150 grams note down the reading this is a 16.7 16.7 centimeter about again take it out this is a 13.3 13.3 when the masses are 200 uh, grams there are two discs 50 each 100 grams now again take it out let it be coming to the the mistake the reading is 10 centimeter or 10.1 i would say 10.1 centimeter and last when i take it out taken out then this is the initial state the reading is 7.7 7.7 centimeter 7.7 centimeter so that's how we perform this static method and from the you know initial state reading or difference reading we'll uh, find out the extension into the spring accordingly we calculate the spring constant you can say the mass of the spring which is mentioned over here that is uh, 74 grams the total mass of the spring is 74 gram in the next section we'll talk about the dynamic methods